Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Horizon 5, a game that, you know, essentially pretty much everybody absolutely loves. And today, we are in the Porsche Spider from 2014. An absolutely beautifully sexy car, a car that they gave to us as an actual gift. So it wasn't something that I had to buy, it wasn't something I had to earn or win or find. They literally just gave it to me, so I thought that we would, uh, I thought we would do our episode today in it. We have the Batman decal on there, which is really just simply because I absolutely love Batman, but we're actually going to change that up, I'm not going to lie to you guys. By the way, I just want to address this in the beginning, yes, I did get attacked by a vampire, it was a traumatic experience, I survived, you guys don't worry, I boarded up my windows, there will be no more vampires coming in, I hope. But, uh, you know, it's risky streets out here. Gonna be perfectly honest with you. You know, obviously, you would expect me to be able to deal with vampires. Maybe in the future I will. But we'll see what we can get here. So, for this car that we have right here, I want to change its design. Because, you know, Batman is cool. I actually love Batman. You guys know this. But I think the, the gray is just not doing this car enough justice. And uh, I actually have a different one that we want to we wanna select. So, I think... That the nicest, the best, the most show-offy one that we can select here is this beautiful red. We're going to save this red, we're going to pop it on, and then we're going to go into this race. That I already completed because, once again, I was playing this game and my PC shut off. I think it's a problem with the, uh, the, the internals getting too hot, which is kind of funny. Maybe I need to get some more sort of cooling system going on there. But, you know, I'm just going to try and tank it for now. And we're gonna we're gonna drive back over to that race. We're gonna hop back in it. I'm gonna show you how it's done first time. So something that I was explaining to you guys before my PC shut off and corrupted all the footage is that I actually changed the difficulty a little bit. So it's not gonna be quite as easy as it was last race. It might appear that way to you guys because I've already done this race, but trust me, everyone is harder. It's a much harder race this time around, and uh, we're we're facing off against some really good opponents. So let's pop into our spider and uh, let's get it done. All right, here we are, baby. Against all supercars, by all means of the word. Can we get a W? Can we get a win? 100%. Let's try and get this first try, baby. It took me a few tries the first time around, but uh, now that I know the secrets of this track, this Lamborghini Aventador is going to be left in the absolute dust. My one key thing is I got to make sure that I hit all these checkpoints. Try and race a clean race here. We've got so many beautiful cars here racing today we've got some mclarens some lamborghinis i'm sure there's some some, some ferraris maybe some koenig sigs in there as well there's a really nice turn that you can hit there um if you drift around but i was not able to hit it this time maybe the, maybe the next few times around here is all about slowing down i found you just want to slow down make sure you accelerate out of the apex at the right moment didn't exactly pick the right moment there. Here, you want to go full speed through this turn. And then you start slowing down here. Take a nice drift around. And we're still within reach of first and second. We're not there quite after the first lap. Unless... I, I do a little bit of cheating there. And I'm <laughs> I use the second place as a little bit of a shield to keep me on the track. No, please tell me I hit that checkpoint. Okay. You know what? We're, we're newer to this game. So... We're gonna, you know, we're gonna hit a little bit of a rewind on race number one. I hope you guys don't mind so much. And that's gonna see us into first place. Now, I'm gonna try and not use rewind as much as possible. Uh-oh. We're on skates there for a second. I'm gonna try and not use rewind as often as possible because, you know, it's, uh, it's a little bit cheap if you ask me. Obviously, you know, sometimes you need to learn how to play a game, which I obviously haven't learned to the best of my ability yet here. I played a lot of uh, GT Sport on the PS4, and, uh, you know, that taught me really how to play a racing sim. But this game is a little bit more arcadey. You kind of have to master the art of the drift, the art of, of bumping other players out of your way. Make sure you accelerate at the right moment out of this apex. Wasn't perfect, but we do we do have some space between us and second place right now. Um, you know the key in this game that I've found so far 
Wow, what a nice turn right on the driving line. Is you want to learn the track. Once you learn the track, you know, the, the quality of your opponent seems to get lower and lower as you learn, you know, how to navigate it a little bit better. I love the fact that you can actually drift in this game to your beneficiary. I don't know why I'm using fancy words like that, but essentially what I mean is that, you know, in GT Sport that I used to play, the racing sim, if you're drifting, you're going all the way back in the last place, you're spinning out, you're, there's no chance for you. Oh god, that was a terrible turn, but it does work out for us in the end. Um, but in this game, you can actually drift around corners and overtake people, which, you know, obviously just adds to the fun factor. Alright, now it's time to accelerate. There we go. Kind of losing some speed there because we didn't really enter the turn that well, but we'll do okay here. The only way that I see us losing first place, that was an okay turn, not perfect, is if I miss a checkpoint. But we're, we're just right, guys, we are right, right there. And there we go. Into first place, first time, first lap. Let's get it, baby. First race of the day, we're getting that victory in that beautiful red spider. And uh, let's find some more things to do. Let's find something fun. I saved that recording just to make sure that we, uh, just to make sure that we don't lose any progress there because uh, it's so frustrating playing the game, commentating for you guys, you know, maybe having some cool moments and then just losing all that footage. But it's something I've become used to as a YouTuber. It's something that you've got to deal with a lot, trust me. But now, what are we going to do? We have the entire world as our oyster. And there's some races that you guys recommended to me in the comments below. But I wasn't able to find them because I don't think that we've unlocked enough stuff yet. However, Horizon Arcade event starts in four minutes. Uh, I think that we're going to stay clear of that for now. But we do have two wheel spins. So why not just run them right here in the middle of the episode? A Ford GT. That does actually interest me a little bit. Those cars are obviously very sexy. Let's run it again. What are we going to get this time? Give me a McLaren. Give me a McLaren. Okay. I'll take 40,000 credits. It's going to be enough to buy some cars, I assume. Let's look in our car collection. All right. Obviously, we've now got the Ford Shelby. And if we go into car mastery, it's going to let me upgrade this car. Yes. Yeah, so we do have six available points. Um, instant 15,000 credits. I don't see why not. Drafting skill scores increased. This stuff is really just all to get you more credits throughout the, uh, throughout the game, which is good, definitely. Maybe we should throw in some more upgrades. Just, you know, why not just buy them all? We can afford one three times. Let's get the combo skills one. I don't really, I, you know, in the end of the day, it's all just going to help us get more. We're level four here now, and uh, let's look for something new. The Punta Allen Speed Zone. It's a little bit of a tough one because it's on a turn, but let's try it out. Let's try out a speed zone. So, you know, those of you who've never played Forza before, the speed zones, you've just got to go as fast as you possibly can through the, uh, through the, through the gate, and they'll give you a star rating depending on it. I wonder what we're going to get on this speed gate right there. That's a new personal best, but is that enough? No. Oh, God. I overshot that turn. Oh, just driving through Mexico. This is a really fun game, man. I cannot recommend this game enough. Oh, so it's like an average speed type thing. I see. Okay. Let's try this again. We obviously failed miserably here. I've got to hit that turn with a little bit more respect, and we should be able to get this. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, what is happening? Alright. So let's get some speed started up from uh, this dirt road right here. Even though it's not going to give us much. Alright. Here we go. You know, yeah, at least getting us up to like 100 miles per hour. 130 going into the speed gate. Alright, here's we're starting at 130. It's not bad. Average of one, I think we need an average of 125 in order to uh, successfully complete the speed gate. 125. Yes, we hit it. All right, is that three stars? It's two stars. I thought it was three. Oh, 135. All right, we can try it again. Why not try it from this, from this direction? 
I feel like we might be able to get a good score going both ways. Might as well try out this way. It is raining. Which is going to take us off the road. For a little bit of an adventure. Okay. That is obviously not good enough. I'm struggling. I don't know how I can do this. I've really just got to get lucky, I think, with my drifts, to be honest with you guys. If we can get ourselves up to 120. Okay, there we go. Guys, we were so close there. It's a, it's a joke, man. Oh my god. We missed the gate, but we were like a mile per hour off. Oh my god. Yes! We did it, baby! Woo! There we go. Three stars on the speed zone. And I think that actually gives us a, uh, a wheel spin, doesn't it? No? No wheel spin for me? We're in the top 100% of the leaderboard, which means that we are at the top of the leaderboard. Um, all right. Okay, so now we've got that speed zone done. Runway danger sign. All right. I don't know what these danger signs are. But we're going to check one out. And then I think that we'll uh, we'll probably end off this episode with the Porsche Spider. It's been a lot of fun driving this car. I want you guys to give me tips in the comments below. That is something that's going to be very important. You guys have already been recommending races. And what is that? Oh, there was definitely a car just there. I guess it's it's missing now. But yeah, I mean, driving this car is incredibly fun. I, uh, I can't I can't be mad about it had a really good time racing this car and uh, You know going 170 miles per hour is always fun It's always fun Let me know in the comments if there's any cars that you guys want to see me try because I'm always down, baby I'm always down. I think in the next episode. We're gonna try and maybe race something a little bit more off-road Jesus Christ this car would be absolutely total by now. But yeah, we're gonna try something off-road for the next episode Hopefully, uh, you know, get a nice little change of pace. Whoa. Can I get 2,000 credits for breaking that sign? Or 2,000 XP? I guess so. That was an XP board. The Horizon team have hit them all over Mexico. There's plenty more to be discovered if you're feeling adventurous. All right. What's the deal with this danger sign? Oh, we're getting the jump in. Okay. 170 seems like our, our top speed. Oh, my God. All right, we're gonna have to rewind that. Just hit a little. Yeah, just rewind. Bring it, bring it back a little. Just a little, little bit further. Okay, here we go. Let's get a safe landing this time, baby. Hey, there we go. Now is that gonna give us three stars? What? 1,750 feet. I feel like we were close. All right, I'm going to run it back then. Let's get three stars on all our events today. All right, there's absolutely no excuse for us not to absolutely demolish this right now. All right, so I'm just going to back up as far as, as far as needed. Maybe, you know, somewhere around here. Stop up. Any cars hidden away for us? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Now I'm going to hit it forward, baby. We are going to see... Do you think we can break 200 miles per hour? I think we can. 130, 140, 150, 60, 70, 80, 190. It's going to have to be enough. Oh, we... 
two, three, four, five. I think we got it. I think we got the five stars. Three stars. No way. Oh, 1,700. I don't understand how that would even be possible. Okay. You know, guys, I honestly don't even think that's going to be possible. But with our completely destroyed poor spider, I'm going to I'm gonna thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys so, so much. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. I hope you guys give me some suggestions in the comments. And without any further ado, peace out, ladies and gentlemen. I love you.